The topic for today is the energy audit. This comprises of two words, energy and audit. Now, what does energy mean? Energy basically means the power, be it be coming from any source, say coal, electricity, gas. The purpose of this power, it is used to drive machines, produce heat. So whatever form of energy is being used in your office, in your building, in your organization, we shall be studying about that energy and the audit of that energy. Now, basically audit, what does it mean? It means the verification and check if everything concerned is in order in that particular organization. When we talk about tax audit, we see about the tax payment and the conditions. When we talk about the cost audit, we talk about the cost, right? There can be internal audit, external audit, statutory audit, right? Today, we are just going to focus on the energy audit. This means to check whether the everything concerned to energy is in order in that particular organization. Let us begin. See, energy audit is in depth study, full detailed study to find out how and where is the energy being used. In that particular enterprise, where is the energy used? How is it being used? Where is it being put to use? And how is it being converted from one form to the another form of energy? Energy audit is the systematic approach for all the decision making processes in the area of energy management. Everything related to energy management. It is the detailed analysis and the study of energy which is being used in any organization, campus, building or being used in any activity or in any experiment. So we shall take up that portion of audit which is concerned with the energy utilization in it can be in your building, apartment, campus or if you are discussing any activity or experiment or any process regarding that. Now this audit covers each and every aspect of energy usage. We shall be studying, we shall be focusing on just the energy vibe of that organization. Where is the energy in your organization being used? When is it used? Why is it used? How is it used? So all the pros and cons related to energy it tries to check if the energy is being wasted at any stage. Now this audit will try to find out. It will try to monitor that is there any wastage going on? If so, we have to control that wastage and there will be suggestions as to how you can minimize that wastage and put the optimal energy use. As for an organization, we shall predict the approximate energy requirement. Right? Just say if we uh, talk about the cash or the money, we try to portray a budget for say a week or a month or a year, right? And then we compare the actual expenses with the predicted budget. Similarly, in energy audit, we try to make out what is the approximate energy requirement for that particular period. You can talk about a month or a year. How much energy will you be using it in the coming future? then we shall be monitoring the actual usage of the energy in that particular period. So you will have now two points. First is the prediction as to related as approximately what we will use and how we have actually used. Then you just compare these two figures. If the actual usage is higher, please find the cause of the gap. Supposing you were expecting to find uh, to use this much of energy and you have used a lot. So you will be trying to find the cause of this gap. Take out the precautions to minimize the gap. Why is this gap so much? Why is the actual usage so high? Is it due to the wastage? Is it due to the negligence? You have been keeping the switches on. You have been wasting the water, the coal, the electricity. So take out the precautions. First find out the reasons. Okay, and then take out the precautions, make the list, how you can minimize the gap, how the prediction of energy requirement usage is going to be equal to what you have actually used. Detail the guidelines to save the energy. It's very important. You have to focus to save that part of energy.
make arrangements for the future now what so happened happened but now in the coming future we have to rule out all the waste stages and save on that energy energy be it in the form of a boiler steam energy or in the form of electricity all of the above are scarce resources they should be used with utmost care and not wasted at all so all of us being responsible citizens we cannot let the scarce resources go by you have to save them you have to keep an eye on how the organization is using these minimal scarce resources all of these add up to the hike in expenses obviously if you will not be vigilant as to using the sources of energy shutting down the switches okay what will happen your expenses will rise because it is at a cost this energy which you are using in your school in your office in your department it is at a cost so your expenses are going to go up and the cost of production definitely will also go up hence arises the need of the judicious usage of these resources now see if your expenses go up so does the cost of production your profits will go down okay so all of us have to come together if we are working for the energy audit in that organization so that the expenses be in the limits the cost be in the limits so that we can increase our profits the government also points out that the citizens should not waste energy if you are using it judiciously and you are using it in a rational way it can be put to use in other forms as well somebody else can also use it why to waste it when it can serve the need of other people so energy audit elaborates the study of production of energy our all focus in this audit is the related to the production of energy we will be studying the cost of the production of energy okay in your organization how will you produce energy to make your department running if you are into a manufacturing process how will you produce that energy to manufacture your items then you will also study in detail the cost of production of that energy how much energy is consumed at every sub process now in the process of manufacturing you have various steps involved right at every step you will be using energy and then you will in detail study for that every sub process how much energy energy is being used how much is being wasted estimation of wastage of energy at every stage no doubt a little of the wastage has to happen you cannot uh, come to a process there will be zero wastage but at least you should try to do that estimation of wastage of energy at every stage should be on your tips suggesting ways to minimize this wastage this should be the motto that your wastage should be minimalistic not only in the terms of increasing the profits and letting the cost of production go down but as the responsible and rational citizens of india that way as well ultimately this will happen to reduce the cost of production and what will that lead to that will lead to increase in your profits now energy conservation act 2001 what does this say define energy audit as the verification monitoring and analysis of use of energy okay see if you uh, just highlight the points we we say that you have to verify the use of energy how much energy are you using in your office in your department or organization you have to verify the usage and then you have to monitor it just keep a vigil eye on it and then analyze the use of this energy is it really required can you also do the same production with a little less of energy this is what energy audit is including the submission of technical report containing recommendation for improving energy efficiency so you have to make out a technical report with the technical team which will recommend you how to improve energy efficiency now what is the meaning of energy efficiency means please don't waste it use to the core don't waste it leave it for the others with cost benefit analysis it will benefit you in making your cost not go up making your cost in the limit and an action plan to reduce energy consumption to improve energy efficiency means to use the source of energy in the most efficient and optimal way 
to make out the cost benefit analysis out of it that if the energy consumption goes down you will be benefited in the cost you will be definitely benefited in your profits and as well as an action plan to reduce energy consumption to keep it within the limits so this is the definition as per energy conservation act 2001 the main motive of energy audit is to reduce the energy consumption be it an industry or warehouse a hotel or a big corporate office space so wherever we are we are surrounded in all these atmospheres in every aspect main motive of energy audit is to bring, bring down the usage of energy reduce energy consumption this will reduce the operating cost and help save the environment if you save energy you will save environment you are helping environment to live on its own this shall provide a positive orientation to the strategic area of cost reduction positive orientation you will reduce your cost you will increase your profits at the same time the productivity should not hamper and the quality does not deteriorate please keep it in mind that when we say to reduce energy consumption this does not mean that stop your production or let your the production of that particular item which you are producing in your factory that only goes down no this is not the case this is not what we are dealing with we are dealing with let the productivity increase or at least be at par but your energy consumption should go down because you have to make it a judicial use of that energy and the quality also should not get down the quality of the product which you are manufacturing to sell it should be properly maintained not at the cost of saving our energy your quality gets deteriorated this should not happen now what data is compiled by energy auditor what data will he give it to you overall installed electric load installed genset load capacity boiler capacity so he will be compiling all this information whatever electric load you have in your factory slash organization your genset load boiler capacity it will give it will be given to you properly to find optimum requirement of energy then suggestion of ways to reach optimum level so how much you need it how much how much judicially or rationally or in an intelligent way you will be able to reach uh, that source of energy share of different forms of energy now in your organization what all sources of energy you are using the percentage wise share cost of various forms of energy okay available sources of supply of energy what else if not this then what is the substitute of this particular source of energy you may hire some other source that data will also be given to you the reliability of these sources now if you totally rely on electricity for the production in your factory is it totally reliable right you never know how the power cuts are going on these days so you have to switch to the wood you have to switch to coal so all these options will be put forward to you in a very elaborate manner so that you can choose between these various alternative sources steps taken to conserve energy this is very important how will you save on energy this data also will be given to you by the energy auditor so that these these tips are there clear in front of you now is energy audit man mandatory in many nations the energy conservation audit is mandatory in india it is not mandatory but the companies they are asked to publish information on energy conservation in the annex chapter to directors report under section 217 subsection 1e of the companies amendment act 1988 okay you have to provide all this information according to this section to ensure the truth and fairness of the information provided energy audit must be definitely conducted okay just to ensure that this is a fair statement of whatever information you are giving so the energy audit should be conducted now benefits of energy audit you will be well aware as to how much energy does your plant consumes on annual basis sometimes what happens is now supposedly i have a factory i have the sources of energy the production is going on very well sold off but i'm unaware of how much energy i'm using so long as i am reaping the profits from that factory maybe i give a damn to it i am totally ignorant of this issue now this energy audit if you get it conducted this will tell you clearly 
on annual basis how much energy are you using that will be making you a responsible citizen you can work on the schemes as to how save this energy maybe you were totally unaware of it or your attention or this point never caught your attention but now you can you can work you can think a little on how to save this energy visualize the gap between the past and the present use of energy how come that uh, all of a sudden you have started using so high and high tons of energy effectively check and control what the wastage of energy as we just told you you can undertake the maintenance of the particular plan sometimes it happens that the service is due of that particular segment of that plan so that is why it is making use of more and more energy once the service has been done all the sub parts they are in order they properly greased and all and then you can save on that energy so you should make it a point that all your plants and the machines they are properly maintained your power bill will get reduced okay and the profit margin increases so uh, i think this is a very important point that when profit margin increases by saving on energy then everybody will come into it right now on the national level energy will be saved okay this is another benefit of uh, energy audit it will reduce the global warming okay move towards sustainable environment hai na because you will be uh, working on on these loopholes how to reduce the loopholes to save energy and you will be making a better environment this motivates everyone to save energy in his home as well okay it's not only that in the production process in the factories and the industries you have to do it you can even do it in your homes in your day to day lives it prevents energy loss and less energy consumed or the energy loss prevented will give you more and more savings stages or the steps in energy audit collect the preliminary information regarding the plant or the concerned organization the basic information the basic data it should be collected fully study the working plan in detail at every production step because you have to conduct the um, energy audit you have to study the energy being used up so you have to pay attention to every production step analyze each detail with full statistics right how much actual usage is there with full detail complete the report train the officers and the ground level staff maybe you have to uh, provide the training programs to the people who are working okay and then minimizing environmental effects for example the greenhouse gases and all if you are working towards saving energy you are making an environment a better place to live in hai na then minimize the wastage without affecting your production so all these steps are involved in energy audit this brings us to the end of the article i hope i have made the things very clear to you if you have any doubts you are more than welcome to ask me in the comment section please like and subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed